are cooler than anything else on the floor. That's cool. How's it going, monkey shine people? I know it's been a few days since I've made a video. I um, have been dealing with some uh, stuff in real life and I haven't felt very funny lately. Um, actually, you know, quite to the contrary, I've been feeling about as negative as I possibly could be. Um, not on my life or anything, just negative on a lot of different things, a lot of different topics. Uh, one of which uh, that pertains here, so as not to waste your time. One of the things that pertains here is die cast hunting and, and specifically Hot Wheels. In the last week, I've seen several videos whilst wallowing in my IRL misery, um, that have shown me there's a new way to hunt Hot Wheels out there that requires even less effort on the part of the hunter. And that is to um, call with certain UPC codes and certain stock numbers that people are beginning to glean and, um, and or these are just people who work at these box stores. They have this information, and so now what they're doing is calling ahead of time and asking if certain UPC codes or certain stock numbers have reached the stock room, have reached the floor. And what these folks are doing is getting um, uh, dates from these people as to when and where something is going to be on the floor because the folks who work at the store are hearing stuff they're used to hearing about this. They don't quite, I think, realize sometimes that it's a civilian or a semi-civilian who's calling to get the drop on certain stock that is then very valuable. Um, the, the, the two shows that I've seen lately on this subject uh, have been the Hotline of Diecast. And Hotline on Diecast is a fantastic channel. Um, and this particular headline drew, drew me in. He's, his channel is the one that kind of told me first on this day that uh, people were doing this bullshit. But then my friend Andre over at First 117 and First 117 Exchange on Whatnot, um, he ran into a Publix, I think, or was it, a, no, it was an Acme, which is a, uh, it's basically the Kroger chain out east. Um, and he was looking through Hot Wheels and an employee just came up totally unbidden and dropped all of this knowledge about the manager of the store. And I, I encourage you to go look at uh, Hotline on Diecast's um, War Report episode where he outs this per particular hunter whom he said he had watched for a really long time, like had seen the guy come up with all of his subscriptions and everything else. And he's, as uh, the, the host says, it really kind of, kind of broke his heart a little bit that this guy was now engaging in this kind of bullshit. Um, I had, a, I had a similar thing with a toy hunter, uh, where I, I used to love his content and uh, he became um, he became a thirst trap. He was going around stores filming women without their knowledge or consent. 
uh, for a couple of episodes, and I know he got in trouble for it, but it was creepy, and I, I unsubscribed from that channel because of that. It's very difficult to see people you respect or like on YouTube suddenly shift over to the dark side, but um, all that said, what I'm out here to do today is um, I want to thank Joshua Moon for letting me know that there is probably an Eddie Guerrero here at this Walmart. So I'm out in Dallas, Oregon today. Let's go see if we can do a, a real solid and find a particular um, toy for a very good friend of mine who never asked. He's done so much for me and he has never asked for anything in return. So if I can find this Eddie Guerrero for him, I'm going to drive a half an hour and I'm going to uh, <laughs> wallow into the Walmart. So anyway, let's go. I'm sorry to, I'm sorry to vent, uh, but I, I kind of, I felt like I owed you all an explanation as to what was happening. Um, I, I, I don't like to make negative content and, and that's going to make some people, that's going to make some people, I don't like to make negative content and that's going to make some people who know me really well from a long time ago and stuff laugh a lot because they know me to be one of the darkest hearted sons of bitches ever. But, uh, taking medication now. <laughs> Anyway, let's go see if we can find an Eddie Guerrero for Andre. Hmm. That's a neat casser. And I do like the dragster. dump in and they have a bunch of J case in it and H case I believe um Batista Bobby Lashley of course Seamus here looking for Eddie Guerrero I was told was out here, but he might have gotten scarped up. Triple H on Michaels. Bam Bam Bigelow. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. sure that this is the one that Andre wants. Uh, while we're waiting for Andre, Andre to reply, found some of those acolyte figures. Like the whole set. Gonna pick them all up. Watch. Are you beautiful? I saw this going on, so that tells me that somebody's already been here to pick out the, you know, the goodies, but if you're interested in anything else in the cereal box, I bet it's still here. Uh, stepping up to uh, do the good thing by people is um, sometimes a difficult thing to do, so the more you do it, the easier it gets. Um, I wanted to really sincerely thank the third party in this purchase um, Joshua Moon who has been an absolutely unbelievable supporter of this channel um, I know I've called you out before um, shouted you out before didn't mean to, 
Yeah, I've called you out for your bullshit before me. Now, um, you have put a a really nice end of the day to um, a day that Andre was having a lot of problems, apparently. He's in the midst of moving. Um, I don't think it, I don't think it's too much talking about his personal shit to say that he was in the middle of a move today. And it, it was just straining, very, very, very straining on him today. So for him to see the picture of this come through I bet will light his, the end of his day. And so uh, my doing this for him makes me feel better. And um, Joshua, you have, of course, helped, <laughs> helped two people immensely today with, uh, you know, some bad attitudes, which, as I said, I, I really try not to try not to transmit now that being said i dropped my energy drink on the way out to the car and it's this should be entertaining hmm. it didn't fire all over the place maybe my luck's turning around anyway i gotta go to uh i gotta go to a goodwill real quick and see if they have a foot scale because um, I need to uh, weigh my animals again real life shit you know anyway come with me let's see if we find anything interesting in the uh, in the goodwill I wonder how JD Vance would feel about this <laughs> <laughs> 